One other thing, something you may not think of. Improper sanitation on the mess deck could wipe out a ship's crew just as fast as a missile. If we uh, botch up a sanitary procedure or mess up on something, somebody gets sick, a crew's getting sick, you can disable a ship real quick. And I'm still wearing that patch behind my ear. Maybe after all of this, the Navy will start putting the galley and the engine plant on the recruiting posters. Yeah, I've been down to those engine rooms, and you, you said they are boiling hot. I can't imagine what it would have been like in the Persian Gulf when it's just hot outside and hot down there. Well, they, uh, in addition to all the ice water, they, they stayed under vents that, that blew cool air, and they worked much shorter shifts, only two hours on as opposed to the usual six on. Uh, by the way, the conclusion of our series will run tonight on 10 News at 630. We've seen the hardships at sea. What about the Navy families back home at 6.30 tonight? It is tough. All right, thanks, Ed. Appreciate it. All this week on 10 News, we've been showing you the Navy you don't see, a series about the demanding and difficult life aboard a Navy warship at sea. A 10 News crew spent a week aboard the San Diego-based guided missile cruiser USS Fox. Ed Lenderman shows you how those hardships are shared by the sailors' families. I personally feel that most of the hardship is on my wife. Uh, she's the one that's got to deal with the house, the job, the children. They're big. The big ones are huge. This is the wife. These are the children that Navy Chief Petty Officer Kevin Reynolds is talking about. Sir, engine room has to step up. Reynolds and the rest of the over 400 crew members of the USS Fox work 16-hour days, seven days a week, when the Fox is at sea during a six-month deployment. But back home, home in places such as Tierra Santa, <laughs> The family of each crew member has perhaps even more responsibility. Work, school, in addition to important home and family duties. Oh, there's Angel. It keeps the spouse pretty busy, which is the way Julie Reynolds likes it. The first two cruises he was on, I didn't work. I stayed home with the kids, and it just seemed like it went on forever. And now that I work with the kids, and the kids are really busy, it seems to go by a lot faster. <laughs> And during this cruise, Julie was the ship's ombudsman, coordinating help for Fox families with problems or emergencies. Oddly enough, the hardships that Navy life can deal out have a positive side. Navy families are pretty close. If you need anything, all you have to do is go knock on a door and they're going to help you. Because we went aboard the Fox after talking with Julie and the kids, Reynolds got a sneak preview of how much the kids had grown and changed during his six months away. The preview just happened to coincide with his birthday. Not a day over 40. And the tape reminded him of the do's and don'ts sailors learned following their first deployment. Each other. She's been taking care of the bills since I've been gone, paying for all that. She's been disciplining the kids the entire time I've been gone. Uh, I don't plan on doing any, you know, becoming the heavy hand once I get back. I'm not going to do that. That's a, that is a very bad idea to do. Mommy, take a lot of guys make a mistake of when they get back trying to step in too quick. They're, they're well-meaning, right? They want to feel needed, right? And everybody's changed, and they want to feel needed, but uh, they rush, they rush. Could there be any more welcome sight after months on patrol in the Persian Gulf? Days and days at sea when you don't see any land at all. And now, after six long months, the moment the Reynolds family has been waiting for. <laughs> Home to family, just in time for Christmas. Ed Lenderman, 10 News, aboard the USS Fox.